Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of Armored Warfare. This is Tanks for the Memories and today we're going to take a look at a new map that's been put into the game in update point one four. It's the Albatross map and I've had a tough time actually getting it into my rotation. But the day before yesterday it popped up and I was in this Centauro 120 and so I thought what we would do is take a look at the gameplay that I had on that map and we would see what um, what we thought of it. So let's go ahead and get to Albatross there and we'll give it a play. This map is essentially the same as Ghost Field. Uh, you spawn from a different area and it's winter time as opposed to a rainy fall or s summer afternoon. And so um, it doesn't quite look the same, but from what I can tell, and I'll put up a uh, image of the Ghost Field map at the end of this, we'll be able to see. But if you look down here on my mini-map, <laughs> you can see that it's basically the same airfield. The hangars at the, uh, down there in uh, I-3 are in the same spot as they are for Ghost Field, but we're starting up in B-0. So the, um, the objective is this, of this map is to take over the airfield and try not to do a whole bunch of damage to it. We're going to have to capture a radio station, get rid of some jamming, and also capture uh, a couple of points down on the airfield itself. So we're we're securing the fighter jets that are that are out there, uh, and again at the end we're going to capture a radio uh, tower. So I decide to move uh, along the top end of the map, and we're going to run into a couple of main battle tanks here. And since I don't have a lot of armor in this thing, uh, but I have a bloody great gun, we're going to try and get hull down uh, and some cover and there's there's actually artillery on this map as well which is going to give me uh, some trouble along the way but this map um, has got good view range across the battle space and so if you've got a vehicle with very good view range and uh, a long gun you can do a lot of work and a tremendous amount of damage uh, to enemy vehicles here so I've got a Bradley with me who's um, who's going to stick with me through a good chunk of this. And as you can see, we're, we're able to get a look pretty much down the uh, runway there. But I'm going to continue along the top side. And we'll run into a couple of main battle tanks here in just a second. Not going to quite get the shot on that guy. So um, this is where I'm going to run into a Challenger and I believe an M1 and maybe even a, a Leopard down there. So there's the M1. Put a good good shot into him. Triple seven. And they're going to be actually pretty aggressive. They're going to end up making their way up here. There's the famed Challenger 1 armor. Again. Hit him. Nothing out of it. I'm hoping he'll turn to his side, but he's just facing us straight on. <coughs> so, that's objective number one, is to destroy the command center. The secondaries are to take over the uh, fighter planes. That uh, expeditionary put a decent hit on me there. But the Bradley's, uh, Bradley's causing him some trouble as well, so he's Got to switch his fire between the two of us. So Bradley took out the Expeditionary. I finally got a good hit on that Challenger. Put some money into him that time. The rest of our team is down there taking over the, uh, the primary objective. The Challenger whacked me pretty good. Just waiting too long to get a good shot in on him. So I'm going to go uh, hold down here. And this is where the M1 comes in. That was a good hit on him. I like the uh, snow on this. What do you guys think about the, um, the snow that's been put into uh, the Ghost Hunter map? I think it looks pretty darn good. So the Bradley's just keeping that guy occupied. There, 
increased it. I had a little lag on that right then. So I like how they've given us a long time to secure the fighters in this one. The objective is just right up in front of me, but I'm not going to mess with that right now. We're going to try and do some tank killing here. So the M1 just fired on... Uh, now he's not going to turn. So I'm going to get beside him. And then we've taken out those two tanks that were there. Or three tanks, actually. And artillery's trying for us. So rather than worry about that objective, I'm going to try and get down here where I can see down the end of the runway and put some shots into um, any bad guys that are popping up over on the other side there. I'm hoping with this long view range uh, and this very long map that we're able to uh, get some shots in, but there doesn't seem to be anybody really around. Now the Bradley's gone up there to take a look at the uh, top of the road, staying on the B line there, and he's going to actually... I think he's actually going to spot a guy here in a second. Oh, that's right. Now he comes back with me. So, uh, again, just trying to get a high spot so we can see some bad guys up here. And if any of the tanks down below uh, pop anybody up, then we'll be able to take a shot at them. And spotted one guy. I'm hoping for more, but I just they're just not coming out. So at this point, it's they've got all the they've taken taken all the objectives there except for the last one, which is capture the radio tower. And um, I, I like how there's different objectives on this map. There's like capture, destroy, and uh, and capture. So I, I like that how there's lots of different objectives on this one. And now basically everybody's just running to go capture the um, the radio tower here. So. While that's happening, we're going <coughs> to, me and the Bradley have the same exact same idea, which is get up here and put our vision and guns to use again. And I think that's pretty much going to be it here. Oh. The carrier is reading you loud and clear. Guess what? The Here's the other one. Got to defend the runway. And we are going to have a lot of bad guys down here. But if you notice, this map is so big that my view range just doesn't do it justice. And so uh, as these guys push out to the very edge of what ends up being my view range, I'm going to decide it's time to move forward and see if I can't help them out a little bit. Because th this is obviously a great place to be, but um, we are going to have a real tough time helping those guys capture the battlefield. So... There's obviously more than one guy on the uh, on the capture zone. So since we can't see him, I'm going to go ahead and get down there. And see if I can't start putting some shots into these guys. Now there's more guys popped up behind us. Somebody just took a shot at me. And the Bradley's lighting him up. But I'm going to have to put a shot into him. Get behind this uh, old MiG here. Try not to shoot my guys. But you can see, I mean, with such great uh, vision distance on the battlefield here, we really can stand back um, and just put shots into these guys from a very long way off. Which just racks up the score without 
you know, putting yourself at getting a lot of damage in these lighter skin vehicles. Problem, of course, is trying to hit the soft spots on the Terminator from this far away. I think they did a really good job with this map, though. I mean, even though we've already seen it, it does make it a bit different from a uh, visual perspective and also from where you uh, start out with, because in most games, um, PvE and PvP on this map, you have, uh, you know, you have different starting points, and a lot of people don't ever get to see all the different parts on the map because they go to the spots where they know, the spots where they're comfortable fighting, the spots that they're comfortable with the particular vehicle they're using, and so they don't get to explore all the different parts of the map. So I think it's pretty interesting. Uh, I think it's a, a nice job on this map. I like the mission, I like the mission very much. And uh, we'll take a look at the map and the post-game stats after this. Thanks, y'all. Alrighty. So here is the Ghost Field map, which is the same as I said as Albatross. And you can see we spawn up there in B0. Uh, the team goes down and captures the HQ, or destroys it, whichever one it is there then come back up and get the radio and the aircraft and then at the end they have to capture the runway for the final spawn of vehicles that are going to appear sort of in the center of the runway there and that's that so on this get on this map for the very first game I played nine kills six spotted obviously stood back a bit um, ended up with 7694 in premium reputation and 181,620 in credits Again, this was a PvE map. Uh, I don't believe this was actually hard mission. Um, I think it was medium, and I just took it because it's the first time I'd ever seen Albatross, and I wanted to play it. So uh, then we come over to the other score sheet here, which is the teams, and came in second there with the uh, amount of damage I did <coughs> to the uh, XM1. And the Bradley did pretty good himself there for kills and 3,500 damage for Bradley. Not bad. It stuck with me a good bit of it, and I appreciated his help there, distracting those uh, main battle tanks. So <laughs> on to the last slide, and then we've got a couple of pictures that uh, Armored Warfare has put out on um, the uh, terrain there for uh, for this particular map. So here's the last score sheet, and um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed that, and you know, we'll take a look at other maps as they come up and certainly do more gameplay with uh, with this map when it comes along. But I hope you guys enjoyed it very much, uh, as I did, because it is a great map to play. I really am liking it quite a bit. I think they probably ought to take the, uh, the capture times down uh, a little bit. But, um, you know, i, I got to say I really did enjoy this very much. So hope you uh, hope you guys take a look at some of the other videos I have on Armored Warfare as well as World of Tanks. This is Tanks for the Memories. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my videos. You can also subscribe to my Facebook page. I'll be posting uh, replays, contests, uh, giveaways, things like that there. Also, I'm on Twitch and Twitter, so look me up there. The uh, links are in the uh, About page here on the video description. And I will catch you guys next time. Thanks very much for watching, and have a great day.